This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Monday, November 21st, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro remains confined to a very well-defined downtrend with the market now looking like it's intent on retesting that critical multi-year base from 2015 at 104.63. At this point, look for any rallies to be very well capped ahead of 110. Sterling dollar. So cable has seen a period of consolidation in recent trade with the rally, that corrective rally being well capped ahead of the previous support now turn resistance in the 127.96 area. There is risk from here for deeper setbacks while the pressure remains on the downside back towards that 31 year low down around 120. Only back above 128 would compromise this outlook. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has been surging over the past several days with the market now looking to retest some critical resistance, that medium term resistance at 111.45 going back to May of 2016. At this point, there is risk at some point over the coming days for a corrective pullback, but any setbacks now should be very well supported in the 105 to 107 area. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss looks like it wants to retest the 2016 low that was seen back in June at 106.24, with any rallies now very well capped ahead of 108. Aussie dollar. So Aussie is broken down below some critical support in the 74 area, and this opens the door for the next major downside extension towards critical support at 71.45. At this point, look for any rallies to be very well capped ahead of 76. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD remains highly constructive, though we have seen a bit of a consolidation off recent highs, but the market should be very well supported on dips, ideally into the 132 area, in favor of that next major upside extension beyond the recent highs that we saw all the way up at about 135.90 and towards the 140 area further up. Kiwi dollar. So the New Zealand dollar has taken out some critical psychological barriers at 70, which exposes a direct retest of more significant support at 69.52 further down. That's that low that we saw all the way back on the 21st of July. A break below there will then expose a fresh drop down towards the 65 area. At this point, look for any rallies to be very well capped ahead of 73. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is back trading within a stone throw of the record high that we saw from August, just shy of 2200. There is risk that that, 20, that that record high could be broken with the market seen surging through 2200. But at the same time, if there's a market that's unable to establish above 2200 and we see a break back below 2100, this will put the pressure back on the downside and suggest a major top is in play. Gold. So gold has seen some major setbacks in recent trade with the market now tracking back towards some critical medium term support in the 1200 area. If the market establishes below 1200, well, it could shift, force a shift in the structure and open a more bearish tilt. However, if the market is able to hold above 1200 on a closed basis, it will suggest that the market's putting in another higher low here in favor of the next upside extension back towards a retest of the 2016 highs at 1375.